Good night, world. This is Ivan O'Mara back here again a month. Today is September 30th. As I said in my last videos, I'll be doing one video a month now. So welcome back, world. This is Ivan O'Mara here again. As you can see, well, you can't see, but I'm actually using a laptop right now. This laptop is not mine. It's my stepbrother's. As, as my laptop is still in the shop. Uh... Well, Ivan, if you have a laptop, why can't you finish your finish your book? It's because my book, my book file is is uh, say was saved on my desktop computer or my laptop. Yes, I know I should have bought a USB or saved it on my Hotmail. My mistake, as I would have finished my book by now, had I saved my book on my on my um, uh, on a USB drive or on or on Hotmail. Hence, lesson learned. So, had I saved my laptop, I had I saved my book file on a USB. Or on my hotmail, I would have finished my book by now. So, because even if my laptop, even if my laptop had a black screen, I could have just plugged in my USB or go on my hotmail, and I could have finished my content editing from my hotmail, and even do my 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 gravelly editing and my formatting. But because I didn't save it on my hotmail or USB, I saved it on my desktop on my computer. I have to wait till the laptop gets fixed. Again, I should get my laptop back around the end of the year, early next year. That's when I'll be pumping out my my final my phase analysis of my final videos of my miscellaneous series. So yeah, so some more some 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 more news. I did some research, and Hollywood actually purchased the rights off Naughty Dog, as they'll be making an Uncharted movie with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. So I did some research because I watched like I watched like shows on YouTube like movie shows on YouTube. And I heard that Un uh, Hollywood actually purchased the rights off Naughty Dog to adapt Uncharted into a movie. They better do a good job because I had some I had some good ideas for that movie, man. But but Hollywood actually purchased the rights off the game of Naughty Dog. They're going to be doing an Uncharted movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, two amazing actors, obviously. But now, but now because they're doing the movie, I'm not, I will not I will not be purchasing the rights off Naughty Dog anymore. There's no point. I'm not going to because. Uh, uh, Night Dog already sold their rights to the Hollywood companies. I'm not gonna. Uh, Skysis will not be. Will, will not purchase the rights. So 24 years from now, after the Western Gangster movie is released, instead of purchase, purchasing the rights of Night Dog, I'll just make the hockey series, a hockey series, something like Mighty Duck, so or Miracle. Have you guys seen the movie Miracle? The Miracle on Ice, when the when the Americans defeated the Soviets. Remember the movie Miracle on Ice? Miracle. And uh, remember the movie Miracle Mighty Duck? Well, picture a hockey series like that, like rivalries with adults. Again, you're looking at a sick franchise for that. And the actors chosen for that franchise will be will, will, the main characters, anyways. They'll be with me and my wife for three movies. I want to do a three movie series for the hockey movie, for the hockey series. You know how Mighty Duck had three movies? I want to do a hockey series. I want to do a hockey series. In the, for in a, a three movie hockey series, so after the the Western Gangster movie, you, me and my wife would take it three years off, and then after that we do a nice like hockey series, a nice like three movie hockey, a three movie hockey series. Again, it's the a hockey the hockey movie will probably won't take that long to film. A movie like that you can finish filming in I don't know two months, two and a half months. So yeah, so a, th a, th a three movie trail, a three movie hockey series, a three movie hockey series like my like my dog had three movies. I want to do a three movie hockey series for, for, for the hockey series in like 20, I don't know, 26, 27 years from now. Right? Yeah. And the actors chosen for the hockey series, they are, um, they're going to be lucky because they're going to be, they're going to be in... The Uncharted series was was a three movie trilogy. They'll be signing multi movie contracts. Those actors, so the, the actors for the hockey series are really lucky because they're going to be experiencing the fame for a good decade, a good decade. Because after these movies, I want to take a year off. So you're looking at a good decade. The, the three movie hockey series are looking at a good decade. So sometime in twenty, like I don't know, twenty, twenty. Um, let's say if the hockey movie gets released in twenty forty seven or something like that. 2047, the movie, the movie will be going on to like 2057 or something like that. The hockey series. Yeah. Long time from now, right? Long fucking time from now. 
And that's why I'll keep on saying that those Akis chose Rosanis are... The reason why I say the Akis Rosanis are, are lucky is because Zanis is going to be my first big budget movie. Me and my wife's first... Because me and my wife have never been to be... Never been to Big West movie before, so Zayas will be will be um, even my wife's first big budget movie, and it's also the best movie ever made. And that's why the the, the actors for the other movies are that are chosen for the other movies are are, are lucky too, obviously because they're, because they're going to experience that thing. But the, the the actors the actors for Zayas are the luckiest because Zayas is a, such a unique story. You have the horror of Eratat, the Devil Wolf King. You know what I mean? The de- Ephesus, the Devil Bat. You know what I mean? Like, you're looking at our, 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 an, 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 an amazing story and, our, and the most scariest movie ever made. Again, let me show you that picture. That way you, so that way you guys get an idea of how scary that really is, man. I want to show you that picture again. Let me second it. I want you guys to get, imagine something two times scarier than that, man. They're getting to tell himself. I'm just, I'm just showing, I'm show, I want to see this video here. Yeah, there it is. I want you guys to get an idea of how scary right, that is, man. One second here. Like, imagine something two times scary in this, man. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this. Imagine something two times scary than this, man. You're looking like, this is pretty freaky, but imagine something two and a half times scary than this. Like you're looking at a devil, a devil, a devil, a devil. Uh, again, this isn't my laptop. This is my separate laptop. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that? Imagine a wolf king uh, twice, two and a half times scary than that. And that's why I'm going to have to hire psychologists, man. Because the actors are going to be mentally, psychologically affected by the by, by the horror of Eritat. Because that's how, that's how scary Eritat really is, man. He's looking at the devil himself. Yeah, man. And that's why they're they're the luckiest. And the, 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 that's why they're going to bang their asses off. The reason why they're going to bang is, is, because, is because they don't want to be left... The main reason they don't want to be left behind, after experience that fame, the actors don't want to be left behind, obviously. At the same time, they know they can bargain for more money. So the biggest actors of Rising Stars who are, who are signed on for Zanus... They, I don't know, the, the actor for, for, for who is in Star Wars, he's getting $8 million. Uh, in, in, in Canadian, that's like $6 million American. The actor for Papyri is getting $4 million, which is $3 million in American. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're all making a lot of good money. The actor for Bell is getting like $5 million for 4 point, I don't know, pay like $4.7 million or something like that. They're all making good money. And now that they're more famous... So the biggest actors, the rising stars, can now bargain for the small A-lister salary, and the big and the and the, and the smaller A-listers like like the like actor for Merrimus, Cassius, and um, and Tachius the first and Queen Sarah, those actors they can bargain for bigger A-lister, bigger A-lister salaries, sixteen plus million, and all the and the, and the smaller A-listers and rising stars can now bargain for that nine million dollars, which is six point like eight million, six point seven million American. Six point seven million America. They can. They know. Oh, if 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 we're, if we're an Irons organization, well, we can all bargain for money. Yeah, they can bargain for that nine. But the smaller A-listers and 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 and, and, and um, the small A-listers and 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 rising stars, they can now bargain for that nine plus million from from our organization if they were chosen. And the smaller and the smaller A-listers can bargain for that sixteen plus million. 
They know they know they can borrow from money. Oh, we're more famous now. We can borrow for money. Yeah, right. But they're gonna get more. They're gonna get either way. They're gonna get paid more money in Hollywood. But the only thing is that Hollywood is fucking cheap. Hollywood, you have the one hit Wilson and the shitty trailers. At the same time, they're not gonna get the same experience that they that they got for for say for for for, for Sky Sports. Sky Sports, you're getting a nice kick ass buffet. You're getting your three beers. You get four on a private jet. On my private jet. On me and wife's private jet. Get your. Get your what? You fall on me and my wife's private jet, which is a nice perk. You do the tables on a nice luxury yacht. You know what I mean? Like, you, 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 you're looking at. You're looking at um. You're looking at. And um, it's something top notch, man. And plus, Skyscrapers can pay you more money in most places. Yeah, Hollywood. There'll be times when they can pay you more money. Like, there's a good chance those all Hollywood actors, the small, the ones who are small actors, will probably be making that like four, uh, at least that four to like eight million range around there. And some might even bargain for nine or ten plus million. That's how it, whereas the bigger ones who become bigger actors, they they can probably bargain for that nine plus that eight plus million. Because Hollywood's cheap, if there's a bunch of them, there's a good chance two of them will make maybe like eight, seven million or eight, and one of them can maybe bargain for like ten or eleven or twelve. Fifty million if they're fucking lucky. And they're really, really lucky they can bargain for twenty twenty million. It's just in a, in a rare case, right? Because Hollywood's fucking cheap, man. Hollywood's so fucking cheap. I'm not getting around. Hollywood, even though the actors get paid decent money and all that stuff, when they're working, they don't get spoiled. They get cheap, they get cheap experience. Hence what hence the actors are gonna slack off more. Yeah, there you go. The actors are gonna slack off more. Yeah, there you go. And just for the record, Sky Source will be direct to 4K Blu-ray. Um, um, but because it's direct to 4K Blu-ray, you will also have to purchase a 4K Blu-ray player. There's some more research. As there is Blu-ray players and 4K Blu-ray players, just to let you know. So just 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 like there's Blu-ray, there's Blu-ray players for Blu-ray movies. There's also 4K Blu-ray players. So if you so because Sky Source is gonna be direct to 4K Blu-ray only, I don't know what 4K Blu-ray. You're gonna to have to buy a 4K Blu-ray player, not a, not a Blu-ray player, a 4K. Because if you buy a Blu-ray player, there's a good chance the 4K Blu-ray just might not might not work on the on on a Blu-ray player. And you need to buy a 4K Blu-ray player to, to, to play your, your 4K Blu-ray movies. Again, 4K Blu-ray, you look at something top notch, man. 4K Blu-ray is fucking top notch. That's why I'm a fan of 4K Blu-ray. I'm not a fan of online streaming. Again, as I said before, because of why everything is behind the scenes, I cannot release my movies on at the movie theaters. So, so you know, you know, it was, it, I would love to release my movies on the movie theaters, but because of why I can't, everything's behind the scenes. I, I, I in order for me to be on the in the movie theaters, I have to sell for that. But because I didn't sell, I, 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 everything's behind the scenes. Hence, I cannot release my movies at the movie theaters. Obviously. So my, my only two choices are either online streaming or direct to DVD or Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. And I'm obviously choosing direct to 4K Blu-ray because you'll get a more enhanced experience than watching on a streaming ser on a, on a streaming service on HD. But some of you may ask me, but Ivan, why go through all that hassle of shipping all the Blu-ray players and all that stuff? And then Amazon shipping all the Blu-ray players when you can just have uh, your fans, I don't want to hear that free money bullshit, pay online and watch... Well, I find online less professional, online streaming less professional. I'm not kidding around. Like when I watch Netflix movies on Netflix, it doesn't feel the same as as as, as either watching on theaters or having a hard copy movie in your hand. Where so, there's something unique about having a physical a copy of the movie in your hand. It feels more professional. Whereas when you watch online, the movie doesn't feel as professional. It's, you don't get the same experience. Watching online, it's not the same experience. Gay, having a copy movie in your hand. Like when you go to the store and you buy a movie and you have a card in your hand, it feels it feels what it feels you're more excited. Whereas when you go online, click and play and watch it, it doesn't feel as exciting. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But some of you may ask you, but Ivan, why go through all that hassle of shipping when you can just pay online and watch? Well, I find online less professional. The movies don't come with posters. So if I if I release my movies on direct online streaming, my movies will not come with posters. Which and having a po a movie poster is fucking nice, man. Movie poster collection you can hang in your room, hang in your house. It's nice in your garage. It's nice, nice, it's nice to have a poster. I find online streaming less professional. 
the movie will not come in posters, and you will not get the same experience as opposed to 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, especially with a home theater system and looking at something top-notch. At the same time, you get to have a box set collection of three Zanus volumes. So Zanus will be coming, will be a three, will be a three movie like box collection. So you have your, you have your, your box, you have your, your, your box case, right? Your box case, wooden case. You have your three, you have your three Zanus volumes stored in there. You're looking, at, you're, looking at, you're looking at a nice box set for Zanus. For all, for all my other movies, you get, I'll have, I'll, I'll have, you have, you have the nice Blu-ray case cover. Because I'm top notch for that, man. Same time, you get to have a nice box set collection of three Zanus volumes, whereas streaming, you don't. So streaming, you pay and you watch, but you don't get to have a box collection. Whereas if you have a direct to 4K Blu-ray, you can, you can have a collection of, of movies that you can that you can keep. A nice, like, three movie box set. Yeah. I have nothing against streaming as I just think as I just think is less professional. Um um I have nothing against streaming as is less professional. In other words, even though I know online streaming is the easier is the easier way to take because I don't have to worry about shipping and all stuff. So Ivan, you can just have us pay and we can all watch. I'm not a fan of online streaming as online streaming is less professional. It's just my personal opinion. I'm not a fan of online streaming. I prefer I prefer to either put it. I prefer to either put it on. Put it. I prefer to either to put it on Blu-ray, direct to Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray. Right. Just a quick note. Because of why Amazon will not advertise Zanus on the website. So because of because it's why behind the scenes. Even though I'm going to be signing with, I'm going to be going with Amazon, doing business with Amazon. Because of why you're not gonna see you're not gonna see this you're not gonna see uh, I don't know Zanus series coming soon on Amazon you're not gonna see those ads because of why everything is behind the scenes so it's up to Sky Source to advertise the Zanus movies hence why so on the site you will see get get the three box series collection now and you'll see the Amazon link on the, on the Sky Source website and once you click on the Amazon link. It directs you to the Amazon site where you can pay for the Zanus movies. So once you click the Amazon the Amazon link, it's going to direct you to the Amazon site, and then you and, and that's where you'll find the three volumes to purchase. Because Amazon will not be advertising me and Mike's movies, no, because of why they're not going to do that. But 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 it doesn't mean you can't you can't do business. You can still do business with them. You just have to keep it behind the scenes. So but because I have the keys, I don't have to worry about having you guys to find you guys. You guys will find me. I'm gonna up. Well, I'm gonna have my web designer upload the, the link. Get these two series now, and you have the Amazon link. You click on the Amazon link, and it direct, directs you straight to the Amazon website where you can buy the three series. That's how it's gonna work, obviously, because Amazon will not be advertising my movies. Even though my movie is gonna be the best be best seller on Amazon, Amazon's not gonna is not gonna put Zans on the best seller list. No, because of why they're not gonna do that. It's all behind the scenes. Yeah, because don't forget that because of why. Everything is behind the scenes. Yeah, there you go. But anyways, to sink this deep into your reprobate minds world, because I know you're fucking reprobate. I'm not kidding around. When it comes to me and my wife, you guys are fucking reprobate people, man. You just you just don't you like you act professional and you act like you're good people. When it comes to Ivan, your true color shows. It shows how you it shows how wicked you really are. You're crazy people, yeah. You piss me off so much, man. Right? So, anyways, this thing is even to your reprobate minds world because I know you're fucking reprobate when 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 it comes to my wife. As I always say, welcome back, world. This is Ivan O'Mara here again. I seriously hope you enjoy my remaining series. That'll be missed for the that'll be missed generations that that'll be that'll be missed for generations to follow. I keep telling you that my my remaining series that, I'm, that, that I started two months ago. Will will be missed for generations to follow, man. You guys are you guys are continuing for granted. You still think after killing an innocent man and causing that horror mass that me and Morph are gonna make real streets? It's not gonna happen, man. Once I once I come back from death and I suffer death, being a porn star, I'm never making any more reels ever again. I'm gonna live my life forever in this world, with my wife. While you guys can can you, while you guys are winning, me and wife score behind the scenes, and 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 I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Now there you go. In other words, I keep on telling you that once this innocent man, you did no wrong. Sometimes I ask myself, what the fuck did I do to you, man? If, if, if you did this to me all because you can't see me have sex, it shows how irresponsible and, and child, uh, childlike you really are. 
because we can't see Ivan have sex, he has to die to be his wife, and he deserves to we deserve to cause massive life. I'm like, so because of my nature, because of my nature is holy, and a lot of fans SCDs, you're gonna you're gonna kill me for that. Like, it's not my fucking fault, man. It shows how reverent you guys really are. You're crazy fucking people, man. Yeah, I keep on. If 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 I, if I wasn't God, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care about not seeing someone have sex. Like, there's many people in the world I will never know what's like sex. I don't care. And when it comes to Ivan, you have to see him have sex. Like, like yeah, I know him. Why? But I didn't know you guys would be that crazy, man. Because you can't see me have sex, I deserve to die. I have to die to be my wife. It shows how crazy you really are, man. Yeah, man. You reprobate people. I keep on telling you that once this innocent man who did no wrong finishes his novel and makes that foul announcement, finds out how wicked the world really is, like trapping me with death or sharing with the entire world. When I mean sharing with the entire world, I mean sharing with the entire world. And you guys don't even see you're wrong. You're so reprobate. You're so reprobate that even after causing that horror mess to my wife, that's already bad enough. You st after doing all that, you still want me and her to share after causing that horror mess. And that's how I know you guys are so reprobate and you, and you, and you don't see your wickedness. You're so blinded by by by, by you're so blinded by by your envy that you don't even see it wrong. You don't even see your evil that you're doing, man. Like oh, um, we caused that. We purposely caused that horror mess with Ivan with VJ. And, and after causing that horror mess with Ivan VJ, we still want Ivan VJ to share. It's like, uh, guys, the relationship's already a mess as it is, and yet you want to cause more mess. And you don't, you don't see, you don't see, you don't see how the relationship won't work. You can't, you can't see, you can't even see that how the relationship won't work because you're, you're so blinded by your envy, man. You're, you're so consumed with your envy. I, I don't care. I, I want Ivan too. I want VJ too. Yeah. You can't, you can't let go of your envy because you're reprobate. You're wicked. Yeah. And then people call me crazy. Yo, I haven't had a mental illness because of the way he thinks. And yet you guys are ten times more crazy than me and my wife, man. Yeah, shut you up for good, man. You fucking hypocrites. Trapping me with death or sharing with the entire world after after already separating my wife from, from me from at birth. Knock me out of the rock at four years old to lose my memory of my wife. But I found out about my wife later on in my adult years, obviously, because I wrote my own story. And prevent me, I mean, you knock me out of that rock to prevent me from warning her about selling. Hence her not seeing me, and that's why she fucking cries every tears every night. It's fucking annoying. Every night she fucking cries. So she can't see me, and why she cried? Why? Because you knocked me on that rock. Yeah, there you go. And now I have to fucking save her. Yeah, there you go, man. That's how wicked you people are, man. You knew full well by infecting my wife after to die, and, and, and yet you chose to infect her anyways. That's I'm proving how wicked you really are. All the people in the world who you think are good people, they're not good people, man. They're wicked people, man. Fucking wicked. You act all, oh, this this man died, and when it comes to Ivan, you, you kill him. Yeah, like, I'm proving how wicked you really are. You don't, you're, you're not a good person, you're wicked. Yeah, you're actors. You act like you're good people, but you're not good people, you're wicked people. You, you can, some, you can believe, you you can somehow believe you're good world, but you know full well, deep in your heart, that you're a wicked person, man. Oh, oh yeah, we're wicked people, yeah, you know. You know you're wicked, because you're just considering what you did to me in my life. I didn't do anything wrong, and you caused this mess and forced me to share or die. It's like, what the fuck did I do to you? I didn't do anything wrong, man. If it's all because you can't see me have sex, it shows how 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 reprobate you really are. Like because you, because of my holy nature, like if if a kid's allergic to peanuts, is that the kid's fault? No, it's not the kid's fault. I'm fucking holy. It's a part of my nature. I'm not a fan of STDs. So if you can't see me, it's not my fucking fault. I go to bed and sleep. And if you can't see me, then I'm sorry, man. It's not my, it's my bad, but it's, it's not my fucking fault. It's part of my fucking nature. And you guys are willing to kill me for that. That's how worth it you guys are, man. Yeah, man. Fuck. Knock me on the rock to lose my, my wife. I'm preparing from warning her about selling. Hence her not seeing me. Locking all the doors on both me and her. Purposely infecting her. So you purposely infected my wife, obviously. That's why she cries tears at night. Setting everything up for her by having her by, by by having her sell, sabotage her career that way she cannot be successful, hence forcing her to be a porn star. Hence the fucking horror mess which fucking pisses me off. What pisses me off is is the fact that when when me and my wife came here, you guys saw the perfect life me and my wife would have had had you not separated us. And yet you chose you let your W every take over and you caused this mess, man. That's what pisses me off. It's like you purposely caused a mess in my life mess my fucking life all because of your fucking envy and your fucking jealousy.
Like that's what fucking pisses me off, man. Had you let me be together, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have to deal with this fucking mess. And now because you caused this horror mess, now what? Now I have to pay a heavy price to be my wife. Yeah, there you go. You sat everything up for VJ, hence her being a porn star, hence the horror mess in the Hollywood, obviously. Setting everything up for Ivan by locking all doors on him and having him pay a bullshit I want to see Ivan have sex fee, and also killing him. You will, you know full well Ivan and Vigil will be pacing the fuck out forever, and you'll never hear from two gods ever again, with the exception of the movies, trends, and docs. That's how wicked you world really are, as I guarantee you somehow foolishly you believe you're a good person. I guarantee you, you guys somehow believe that you're good, but I'm, look, man, your actions show otherwise. You can bleed, you can you can you can harp on goodness and freedom all you want, but your actions show that that that, that, that you're wicked. Yeah, there you go. In other words, oh, we're a good person. Well, if you're a good person, why can't you you let me be with my wife? Um, let me release my book. Don't you like you know what I mean? Don't force me into a porn. So, yeah, oh, we want you to pay the fee because we want to see you have sex. Yeah, you you you, you can't let go of your envy. And you choose to let your envy take over because you're wicked. You're a wicked person. Look up the word wicked, man. What do you think they call it? What do you think they call it at the end of the Bible? How the wicked are separated from God for all eternity. The, it's a symbolism of you guys. You guys are wicked people. Yeah, man. You're, you're wicked people. When I mean wicked people, I mean you're, you're, you're so wicked to the point whereby you deserve, you deserve to see fucking hell. You don't, you don't, you don't deserve to see me. You deserve to see hell because you're a wicked person. Yeah, there you go. You're not a good person, man. The only person who deserves to see me is my wife. My wife is innocent. She's the only person who deserves to see me because the whole thing was set up for her. Whereas you, will, you don't deserve to see me because you're fucking wicked. You deserve to see hell. Because you're wicked people, man. Yeah, there you go. As I guarantee you somehow, you, world, you somehow fully believe you're a good person when, when your actions prove otherwise. No, you are not a good person. You're a wicked person. The only two good people are me and my wife, whereas everyone else is, good, is not good but wicked individuals. I'm telling you right now, you can say, no, no, I'm a good person. I'm telling you right now, once I come back from death, it's finally going to hit your minds how wicked you are to the point whereby you can't say shit anymore. I'm going to shut you off for good to the point whereby like, you're, 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 you're going to admit, you're going to be like, yeah, we're fucking, we're, yeah, we're, we're evil people. Yeah, you're fucking wicked people, man. You're evil people. You're not good people. The only good person in this world is me and my wife, man. We're the only two good people in the world. Everyone else, they're all wicked people, man. If you're a really good person, you wouldn't do this to me and my wife. That's how I know you're not a good person. I would never separate you from your wife. No matter how jealous I would be, I would never ever separate someone from his wife. I would never purposely cause mess in someone's life. That's just you being selfish. You purposely causing mess in someone else's life and didn't do anything wrong. Like, that shows how wicked you really are. Oh my god, my boyfriend cheated on me and you purposely caused a mess with Ivan and forced him into a porn star. Yeah, shut you for good, man. I'm a fucking genius, man. Before I become king, queen, before I become king, I'm always queen. Let, let, let me shut the world up to the point whereby they can't say shit. They can't say shit anymore because the world broke every moral code in the book. You guys broke every single moral code in the book to the point whereby you're even willing to kill this and that, and you don't see it wrong. Now, there you go. In other words, world, no way why I let you have your full cake and eat it too. As when me and my wife were born. You world saw the two choices. You saw the fucking two choices, man. You made your choice. Too late now, man. You saw the life had you not severed me, my wife. Me and VJ, King, Queen, Hollywood. The interviews, the movies, the music, live YouTube videos. So you world, you saw the life had you not severed me, my wife. You would have seen me and my wife in Hollywood. Doing movies, the interviews, music, live YouTube videos. You saw that. You saw that glory. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, we're never going to always like, we're going to have sex. But... You would have seen, but you world, you would have seen that amazing glory and be saved by two gods forever. So you world, you saw the amazing glory that you would have seen forever. You would be, hence you, hence you world, would have been saved forever by two gods. Yes, you would never know what it's like to see me and my wife have sex, but you would have witnessed the amazing glory in Hollywood. Like the movies, the comic cons, all that, man. You would have seen all that, man. Stand up comedy on Netflix, Netflix special. Me, you would have seen you would have seen my movies at the, you would have seen my movies getting released at the movie theaters. You would have seen all that, man. It's too late, man. Too fucking late. Come on. You would have, you would right save forever by two gods. Yes, you will never know what it's like to see my wife have sex, but you would have witnessed the amazing glory in Hollywood and would have been saved and not had that horrific feeling of being left behind, abandoned by two gods. 
that would have been what you would have seen. That would have been the that would have been what you would have witnessed and seen, world, had you let me be my wife and not cause chaos and mess in our lives. So had you let my wife be together, yes, she would never know what it's like for me and my wife to have sex, but you would have but at least you would have seen the amazing glory of the two gods in Hollywood forever. And you would you would be saved. You wouldn't be left behind. So think about this. Would you rather be saved and and, and, and saved seeing the two gods glory forever? I never know what's like to have sex or, or, or see their bullshit sex because not, you're not going to see me when I pay this fee. And then you don't see their glory. Their glory is behind the scenes. You see their glory, but their glory is behind the scenes. But because it's behind the scenes, now you're left behind and you're not saved. What would you rather choose? And you guys obviously chose, I'd rather see their bullshit sex and cause mess in their lives and see their glory behind the scenes and feel left behind. Yeah. And you made your choice. It's my camera up here.